that's going to go with the spirit of God that's already in the house. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Just follow the Holy Ghost. Let's just love the Lord. Let's love the Lord. Hallelujah. There's such a sweet presence of the Holy Ghost in this house tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. Come on, let's hear it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus, Lord. it's still early. Come on, let's love the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for your mighty presence, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. to Psalm chapter 20, Psalm chapter 20, amen, amen, I'd like to talk just for just a few minutes tonight, amen, the simply title is, it's time to trust God, Jesus, it's time to trust God, hallelujah, yes, Jesus, yes, Psalm 20, beginning with verse 1, <clears throat> 20 and 1, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary right. and strengthen thee out of Zion. All right. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Selah. Oh, Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. All right. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. All right. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. All right. Now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. Right. He will hear him from his holy heaven yeah. with the saving strength of his right hand. All right. Verse 7 says, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, our God. Hallelujah, yeah, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Jesus, in your mighty name, I thank you for your presence in this house tonight. Thank you for your anointing that I feel, God. Anoint me, Lord, as I minister your word tonight. Lord, in every heart, Lord, we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, you may be seated tonight. Apologize for my voice. Amen. Hallelujah. I try to, sometimes I try to act a little dignified, amen, but I can't help but get beside myself because all that God has done in my life, amen, all that he has done for me, amen, hallelujah, Jesus, oh, I'm so thankful, amen, that we serve the living God tonight, amen, hallelujah, we need to realize tonight who God is, how powerful our God is, how magnificent he is, hallelujah, Amen, if we only knew the wonder and the awesomeness of our God, hallelujah, Jesus, amen, hallelujah, my God fills the universe, hallelujah, amen, there's no space that he doesn't fill, he fills all time, he fills all space tonight, hallelujah, Jesus, we need to remember that the God that we serve spoke the world into existence, amen, Genesis 1 and 1 says, in the beginning, God created right. the heaven and the earth, right. and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, right. and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, amen, he spoke it, and said, let there be light. 
light and there was light. God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to remind us tonight, church, that that same God that spoke light into a world of darkness, amen, right, will speak yeah. light into your dark storm. Yes, amen, right. hallelujah, amen. The God, amen, that spoke yeah, light into darkness hallelujah. will speak light yes. into what seems like death. Right. Hallelujah, right. Jesus, right. amen. I say it all the time, but my God can do anything. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing impossible for my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the hope for the hopeless tonight. Amen. He's the strength to those who are weak. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. The issue that many people have is trusting God. Too many times we bring our needs to God. We lay them at the altar. But then at the end of service, we go back and we pick them up. Amen. And take them back out the door with us. Amen. I'm reminded of an old song that says, take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. Hallelujah. Leave it at the altar. Leave it with Jesus. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Psalm 37 and 25 says, I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Amen. God's not going to forget about you. God's not going to forget, right, amen, God. hallelujah, Jesus, where you're at. He knows exactly where you're at tonight. He knows exactly what you've gone through. He knows exactly what you're going through tonight, right now. Hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, amen. Like I said, amen. The problem is people have, amen, trouble trusting God. All right. Man, if you've ever struggled with trusting God, amen, there's many examples of that in the Bible. The Bible tells us about Abraham and Sarah. Man, God told Abraham that he would make him a father of a multitude. He would make him a father of great nation. Amen. God had promised him a child. Amen. But when the angel came along, amen, and said, when they were in their old age, it said, you're going to have a son and his name's going to be Isaac. They laughed at the angel of God. Oh, don't laugh, church, at the promises of God. Don't laugh when God says this is going to happen. Thus and so is fixing to take place. Amen. We need to rejoice in the Lord. We need to trust God. We need to believe God. We need to thank Him for it. We need to say, this is what Jesus said. I believe it. It's going to happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's clap our hands to God. Moses was called by God to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt. Oh, but he told God, you know, God, I can't speak very well. You know, I have this stutter. I can't do this, God. And God provided Aaron and his brother to go with him. Amen. And speak for him. And then when they're in the wilderness, when God told Moses to speak to the rock, and let the water come out of the rock. God said, speak to it. But Moses took the rod and he smote the rock with the rod. Because of this, Moses was not allowed to go into the promised land. Amen. He didn't trust God like he should have. Oh, come on, church. We got to trust him. We got to believe he really is as powerful. Amen. As he is tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jonah ended up inside, amen, what the Bible says was a large fish prepared by God. The reason was because he didn't obey God. He didn't trust God to go with him when God said, go to Nineveh. Jonah decided to go in the opposite direction. He decided to head in the opposite direction from where God said to go. Nineveh was killing preachers. They were known for it. God was sick of it. God said, I want you to go and tell them that they're all going to be punished for their wicked deeds. But Jonah didn't trust God. Jonah didn't know. I guess he didn't realize that God was with them. If God sends you somewhere, if God sends you on a journey, God is going to be with you. If God says, go here, do this. Amen. He's not going to show you up. Amen. But he's going to show out. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Jesus. Amen. When Jonah finally repented of his sins, when he was in the belly of the fish, he repented of his sins. Amen. The fish spit Jonah out on the ground, and Jonah went into Nineveh. Amen. And he preached and said, you're going to be punished. You're going to be decimated. And they repented of their wicked ways. Amen. Whenever he turned about and he went the direction right. and the way that God said for him to go. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If you go the wrong way, yeah. you're going to suffer. Yeah. If you go the opposite direction of what God says to do, if you do the different thing than what God says to do, you're going to suffer. Yeah. Oh, but just trust God. Just believe that God is with you. Just know, amen, hallelujah, he's always yeah. by your side. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, amen. Pastor alluded to it this morning. Amen. Elijah, God provided for him by feeding him food brought to him by ravens. Amen. He prayed a simple prayer. Amen. Just a little simple prayer. And fire came down from heaven. Amen. And destroyed, killed the altar. Amen. And the, the sacrifice. Amen. Burned up the sacrifice. Burned up the altar. Burned up the water. They had pulled around, poured around the sacrifice. Hallelujah, Jesus, to represent, amen, that God was the one true living God. Amen. amen. Then he killed the prophets of Baal. Amen. But just a few days later, when he found out that Jezebel was trying to kill him, he turns to God and says, God, just kill me yourself. God had to remind him, amen, that he's got 7,000 that have not even bowed, their, bowed, their, bowed down to Baal. There's 7,000 that are not even bowed down. There's 7,000 that are worshiping with you, Elijah. Right. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. We don't know the thousands, church, around the world that are worshiping God with us. Sometimes you feel all alone. Sometimes you feel well, the devil wants you to think that you're all alone. You're in this thing by yourself. Oh, but whenever we're on Jesus' side, we are a majority. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Matthew 6 and 25 says, Amen. I'm going to go through to verse 30. 6, 25 through 30. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Neither yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Yeah. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. Right. They toil not, neither do they spin. Yeah. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Amen. Faith and trust go hand in hand. All right. Amen. we got to have faith, amen, that God's going to take care of us. God's going to bring us through. Hallelujah. you got to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Amen, yeah. amen, yeah. amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a beautiful hymn titled, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Goes like this, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him. All right. How I proved him o'er and o'er. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, Jesus, yeah. precious Jesus. Oh, for grace, trust him more. Hallelujah. Oh, Although it's such a beautiful hymn, it was penned out of a very dark tragedy. Bear with me as I read the story. The lyrics were written by Louisa Steed around 1882. Louisa Steed was born in 1850 in England. In 1871, she came to the United States, to Cincinnati, Ohio. She had hoped to become a missionary, 
but was unable to at the time because of sickness. In 1875, she married and the couple had a daughter named Lily. It was a beautiful sunny day. Louisa went with her husband and four-year-old daughter, Lily, on a picnic. During their picnic, they heard a young boy scream. The boy was drowning. Mr. Stead ran to the rescue. Sadly, both Mr. Stead and the young boy drowned. Louisa and Lily watched helplessly through this tragedy. Can you imagine you and your four-year-old little girl standing there at the banks helplessly, unable to help your husband and he's drowning. Louisa was now left a widow with a child to support and became destitute. God provided for her and her daughter, and they made it through. Louisa learned to lean on God and trust in right. Him, right. and that faith inspired the writing yeah. of the hymn, yeah. "Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Right. Louisa and Lily would move to South Africa after the tragedy where they became missionaries. Amen. She got to live her dream. Amen. While there, Louisa married Robert Wodehouse. Due to ill health, she returned to the United States in 1895. Five years later, they returned to the mission field and then retired from the mission field in 1911. Amen. Although Louisa Steed went through this terrible tragedy, she was able to keep her joy but also, God used her to yeah. give us such a beautiful song. All right. When you trust in God, hallelujah, he will bring you through the worst of times. Oh, hallelujah, I'm so thankful we can trust in Jesus, yeah. church. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and thank him tonight. Hallelujah. Amen, that you can trust in him. tell you, I personally went through a very dark time in my life. A storm that I did not ask for. It felt like my whole world was falling apart. Amen. It was falling apart. My world was upside down. All right. Amen. It seemed like I felt like everyone was against me. Everyone except my personal family and God. All right. It was during this time, amen, that I learned. Amen. Hallelujah. Even though I've been in this all my life, I learned that I could trust in God. Right. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you're going through a storm, yeah. amen, you have nothing else to hold on to. Right. Yeah. Amen. You can know to trust in God. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3, amen, and verse 5 and 6, amen, came alive to me during this time. Amen. It became one of my very favorite scriptures. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I know I quote it all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. But that's what kept me alive, literally. Amen. Was knowing. Amen. Hallelujah. That I could trust in God. Amen. With all my heart. Amen. I didn't understand what was going on. I was dark. Amen. I felt all destitute. Right. I felt alone. Amen. But I knew that God was with me. Amen. I knew that God was there. Amen. Hallelujah. I didn't lean unto my own understanding. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I let him direct my path. Hallelujah. That's what we got to do, church. We got to trust him. We got to believe, amen, that he's going to bring us through. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I decided then that I was going to trust God no matter what. All right. All amen. Right. I said no matter what. Hallelujah. No matter what. Amen. I know, amen, that his ways are far above our ways. Amen. Hallelujah. His thoughts are above our thoughts. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. You can lean on God through it all. Amen. Hallelujah. You can lean on God no matter what. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's another song. Amen. I got a lot of songs tonight. Amen. This is fitting. Amen. I've had many tears and sorrows. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave blessed consolation. 
that my trials only come to make me strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I said our trials, amen, will make us stronger. Hallelujah. I've been a lot of places. I've seen so many faces. There have been many times I've felt so all alone. You been there? Yeah. But in that lonely hour, in that precious lonely hour, Jesus let me know I was his own. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon his word. Yeah. Amen. Church, his word is true. Amen. His word is true. If God has said it in his word, it will happen. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I thank God for the mountains. And I thank him for the valleys. Yeah. And I thank him for the storms he's brought me through. Amen. Because I never had a problem. I wouldn't know that he could solve them. I wouldn't know what faith in his word could do. Yeah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Through it all, amen. He'll pull yeah. you through. Yes. He'll bring Hallelujah. you through. Hallelujah, my Jesus. God. My God. My God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. The very storm. Amen, that I was going through. The devil thought it was going to destroy me. He was laughing in my face, telling me just to give up, literally. Amen, I know I've been raised in the church all my life. Amen, but he was telling me just end it all. You may not believe that tonight, but he will tell you. Just like Pastor was preaching this morning about listening to the wrong voices. We got to make sure, amen, that the voice we're listening to lines up with the word of God. Hallelujah. He was saying, just give up. It doesn't matter anymore. It's not worth it. But because of the prayers of my family, because I learned to lean and trust on God. Hallelujah. I came through the storm. Amen. It's stronger than ever. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because of the storm, because of the trial, I can stand here now and tell you, amen, if God did it for me, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. If God can do it for me, he can do it for anybody. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm telling you that God is faithful. God is true. Hallelujah, Jesus. He won't lie to you. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. See, the enemy wants you to forget all the things that God has done for you. Amen. He wants you to forget that you've got a testimony to tell. Amen. I'm thankful tonight that I can tell my testimony. I can tell the devil you're a liar, Satan. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. I've got God on my side. Amen. And I've got a majority. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, amen. I don't know what trials you may be facing. Amen. You might be going through a storm right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, but God knows. Amen. Amen. I don't have the answer. Amen. But God does. He knows everything. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. You got to take it to the Lord. Hallelujah. You got to say, Jesus. I can't carry this on my own, Lord. I can't, Lord Jesus, but I give it to you, Lord. I bring it down to this altar, Lord, and I give this burden to you, God. I can't see the other side of the storm, but I know, God, that you're with me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. But God is a gentleman. God will force you to come to him. Amen. God does not make you trust him. But God is waiting patiently with open arms for you to come to him. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. I'm so thankful tonight, church. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Psalm 23 says, 
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green right. pastures. Right. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. All right. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no reason to fear evil, church. You got God on your side. Hallelujah, Jesus. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So thou preparest a table before me in the presence of of mine enemies. Yes, yes, Thou anointest my head with oil. All right. My cup yeah. runneth yeah. over. Yeah. Hallelujah. Surely uh, goodness and mercy shall follow me right. all the days of my life. Right. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In his house there's safety. Yes. Amen. In his house, amen, there's fullness of joy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Out there in the world, amen. It's a tempest. It's a storm. The winds are blowing. The waves are flowing over you. But you can come into his house tonight. You can find safety. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to trust in Jesus. Amen. Amen. We can all stand tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Matthew 11. Isaiah 40 and 31, excuse me, Isaiah 40 and 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. The New Living Translation says it this way, Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. When you trust Jesus, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only is he going to bring you through, amen, but he's going to take you up above your situation. You're going to fly like eagles. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're going to be looking down and saying, is that all that was? Is that all that storm was? Is that all that trial really was? Man, the devil tried to make it look so big. The All enemy right. tried to All make right. it look like, right. hey, man, I might as well just give up. Yeah. Oh, I'm thankful, yeah. amen. That was nothing. That was nothing. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. He's going to take you up above it. Amen. You're going to be soaring around. Amen. You're going to be able to see, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Amen. He healed my body. He touched my body. trust in church, when you begin to realize just how big he is, just how awesome God is, amen, amen, hallelujah, that he literally spoke the world into existence, amen, he spoke words, amen, and light appeared, amen, he spoke words, amen, and dry land appeared out of the waters, amen, he spoke, amen, and animals appeared, trees, amen, hallelujah, amen, he spoke life, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he is speaking life into this church tonight. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He's speaking life into this yeah. situation tonight. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That is yeah. dead. Amen. We'll be alive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Let's clap our hands again. Let's thank him. Hallelujah.